The Dance of Dragons, a true telling by Grandmaster Munkin, being a history of the war of Targaryen succession between the Princess Rhaenyra and Aegon, second of his name, that nearly destroyed the realm. The Dance of the Dragons, a stupid name for a Targaryen civil war where my ancestors danced away my birthright. Before the war, House Targaryen counted 18 dragons. By the end, we had two, and nearly as few Targaryens. We would never be as powerful or as feared again. Alright, my friends, in this video, we're gonna have a look at HBO's new official teaser for their Game of Thrones series, House of the Dragon. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. HBO released a new video featuring the one and only George R. R. Martin. In the new video, George R. R. Martin shows us some of the lands of ice and fire that will be highlighted in House of the Dragon's second season. It's essentially a geography lesson on some of the locations in Westeros we will see when House of the Dragon airs on HBO and HBO Max again this summer. Although we don't get any new information in the video, I still thoroughly enjoy hearing George R. R. Martin discuss the incredible world he has created. Now, as you all know, it's no secret. House of the Dragon will focus on what's happening in and around King's Landing as House Targaryen fights over the Iron Throne during the Dance of the Dragons. Now, at the beginning of this new teaser, George R. R. Martin shows us where King's Landing, Dragonstone, and the Stepstones are located on the map of Westeros. Most of you should immediately recognize where King's Landing is located. It's one of the most significant locations in Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon, considering it's where the Iron Throne resides. Some of the greatest moments in Game of Thrones and even House of the Dragon were shot inside its Red Keep. Now, if you look out over the Blackwater Bay, you will also see an area known as the Gaulet, nestled up right alongside the islands of Driftmark and Dragonstone. As I'm sure most of you already know, Driftmark is the seat of House Valerion, and Dragonstone is the seat of Rhaenyra Targaryen in House of the Dragon. They were heavily featured in House of the Dragon's first season, and I'm sure we will see many more scenes there again during the new one. In fact, the final scene of House of the Dragon's first season was on Dragonstone, as Rhaenyra found out her son Lucaris Valerion was slaughtered by Aemond One-Eye and his enormous dragon, Vagar. Aemond rose through the clouds, and below him, the monstrous Vagar. Vagar was five times the size of Arax, and a hardened survivor of a hundred battles. Vagar caught him above Shipbreaker Bay. The watchers on the castle walls saw distant blasts of flame and heard a shriek drown out the thunder. Prince Lucerys fell, broken, to be swallowed by the waves. With his death, the War of Ravens came to an end, and the War of Fire and Blood began. Then, George R. R. Martin shows us the small, independent islands known as the Stepstones. They are what's left over from the land bridge that once connected Dorne and Essos. Now, according to legend, the Arm of Dorne once connected Westeros and Essos. The Broken Arm and the Stepstones were created when the Arm of Dorne was shattered by the breaking, the usage of the Hammer of the Waters by the Children of the Forest. It happened thousands of years ago when they were fighting the First Men. After it was shattered by the Hammer of the Waters, the sea rose and swallowed the land that was once here. The only thing that remains are these small islands. As I'm sure most of you remember, this is where Daemon Targaryen defeated the Crab Feeder in the first season of House of the Dragon. We might see this location again in the new season, when the Sea Snake goes back down there. Now since Lord Corlys Valerion is a merchant and makes most of his wealth out on the sea, he's often affected by what's happening down there in the Stepstones. In this new teaser, George R. R. Martin also highlights the disputed lands in three of its free cities, Lys, Myr, and Tyroche. These cities were once enemies for a very long time, and they've been fighting over their lands for hundreds of years. Well, in House of the Dragon, they've actually set down their swords and finally formed an alliance by making their own government known as the Triarchy. Some of this was already set up in the first season. Lord Corlys Valerion obviously wants to smash their alliance to free up the Stepstone so he can sail east again. Although the Crab Feeder was defeated in the first season, the war isn't over in the Stepstones. I don't think we've seen the end of that storyline just yet. Now last, but certainly not least, George R. R. Martin discusses the infamous and historical event known as the Doom of Valyria. It was an event that happened roughly 400 years before the events in Game of Thrones, or about 200 years before House of the Dragon. It's essentially what set in motion the series of events that would lead to House Targaryen arriving in Westeros. Now, for some reason, that's still a mystery to this day, Valyria exploded, setting fire to everything in sight. 
on the day of the doom, every hill for 500 miles exploded, filling the air with ash and smoke and fire, which killed even the dragons. Not only that, but there were earthquakes that destroyed everything, while the lakes boiled or turned to acid. The 14 flames, the fiery mountains of Valyria, sent molten rock thousands of feet into the air, and red clouds rained down dragonglass. Now what's really interesting about this is about 12 years before the Doom of Valyria, Lord Aenar Targaryen's maiden daughter, Daenys the Dreamer, had a dream, along with some visions that Valyria would explode. Foreseeing the Doom, she convinced her father to leave Valyria before the Cataclysm. Thankfully, her father Aenar set sail, moving House Targaryen and their five dragons to the island of Dragonstone. This is how and why we still see House Targaryen in Westeros during the Dance of the Dragons. I'm not sure if we will see Valyria in House of the Dragon, but we did get a glimpse of it in Game of Thrones back in Season 5. You know what they say? The Doom still rules Valyria. What about the demons and the flames? Aren't you afraid of the Doom? Many fans believe this is where Drogon flew Daenerys at the end of Game of Thrones, while others hope she was taken to Volantis for Kenvara to resurrect. I came to help. Daenerys Storborn is the one who was promised. From the fire she was reborn to remake the world. Yes. Valyria is only one of the many mysterious locations I wish we could learn more about in A Song of Ice and Fire. Hopefully, Game of Thrones will release more videos like these as we wait for the new season of House of the Dragon. While this might not have been your standard teaser from HBO, I still loved it because I'm always interested in hearing George R. R. Martin discuss his amazing creation. Hopefully, they will release another video with actual images from the new season soon, now that everything is done filming. Make sure you subscribe, that way you're the first to know whenever I release a new video. There will always be a lot more heading your way. As always, I want to thank everyone for watching this one. I hope you all have a great day. I will see you again very soon. Bye.